Hi, I'm Dr. Surinder. I'm the Principal Consultant and Chief Plastic Surgeon of Cosmosis India. We are an aesthetic surgery centre in the heart of Bangalore on Brigade Road. We often get youngsters coming to us with the problem of chest fat or there is an increase in the chest size. And they are often very confused because they read us so much on the internet about what actually gynecomastia is or whether it is only fat or whether it is fat and gland and there is a lot of confusion related to it. So what happens is there are two things here that we need to remember. One is the true gynecomastia which is the actual gynecomastia and the other one which is commonly found which is called the, what we nowadays call as pseudo gynecomastia or it could be called a fatty chest, moves. There are so many names for it. True gynecomastia is usually found in adolescence. Adolescence means when the youngsters from their 12, 13 years when their hormonal changes are occurring. So because of the hormonal changes, then there is an enlargement of the glandular part of the breast. And this causes an unsightly appearance on the chest and it looks prominent. And this is called the true gynecomastia. For us to consider whether it's a true or a false gynecomastia, there are two, three criteria. One is the age, is during the puberty and post-puberty age. Secondly is there is uh, hormonal changes which are happening. And thirdly is that there is a glandular element. The gland is hard and it is increased in size. And fourth, most importantly, it is painful. So that is what differentiates the true gynecomastia from the pseudo gynecomastia, which most of us have. Uh, initially, it was thought that pseudogynomastia or fatty chest was, you know, it was uncommon, you know, it was very rare. But nowadays, with the increase in uh, obesity overall, and of course, the lack of uh, diet and changes in habits, and some other environmental factors like pollutants and uh, what you're eating in your diet, all that are adding to us seeing more and more of this pseudogynomastia. Uh, Pseudogynecomastia is what most of the people have, which is uh, usually present even in um, a older age groups, that is above 20s also, and it persists and stays on. And there is no specific age for when it can be corrected, it can be operated anytime. The surgery is the only option to get it corrected. It's because it is sitting on the muscle, most people going to the gyms, the youngsters, the trainers tell them to work out more on the chest muscle and exercise but what happens is because it is sitting on the chest muscle when you exercise the chest muscle becomes prominent and pushes it out further so in fact it worsens your gynecomastia the appearance of the gynecomastia when you're doing exercise for the chest so i would rather suggest if you want to do exercise and reduce then just do something where you're reducing your weight overall like uh, aerobics and uh, fat burning exercises where you're actually going to benefit from that rather than doing chest exercises so the basic difference between pseudo gynecomastia or the fatty chest and the true gynecomastia is the glandular element is large and of course in pseudo gynecomastia there is no pain whereas in gynecomastia there is pain. So that is the major difference.